Welcome back to Movie Mo Show. Today we are going to review the horror film Tommy Unlimited. If you like our content, don't forget to like and subscribe. We post multiple times daily. Spoilers ahead. Sukiko Izumakawa, Mo RI, participates in the high school photography club. Sukiko runs into her older sister Tommy, Miyu Nakamura, who attends the same high school, as she and her best friend Yoshi Kazuya, Aika Oda, make their way home. Sukiko has a crush on Toshio Shinoda, Kensuke Iwata, the man Tommy is with. Sukiko is enamored with Tommy's beauty while also being consumed by jealously against her stepsister. Sukiko snaps a couple shots of Tommy at her request. At that point, Tommy admits to her stepsister that she is envious of her tighter bond with Toshio and that she is aware of this. Confounded, Sukiko puts down her camera and witnesses in horror as Tommy is killed when a steel cross that is falling from a construction site crushes her on her neck. After a year, Sukiko's everyday life gradually resumes some semblance of normalcy, although she continues to experience grief and recurrent nightmares as a result of her stepsister's passing. Tommy's parents, Masashi, Koichi Ohori, and Kamiko Izumakawa, Maiko Kawakami, as well as Tsukiko, gather around a birthday cake in her honor on her 18th birthday. At that moment, a knock on the door is heard. When Tsukiko goes to get the door, she recognizes Tommy as her deceased sister, who is now even more stunning than before. Tommy is standing in the doorway. While Tsukiko is perplexed, Tommy's parents are overjoyed to see her and welcome her back with tears of pleasure. Tsukiko is punished by Tommy by having Masashi lash her across the back with a steam iron wire for not giving her affection. However, as Tommy reveals to Tsukiko the scar on her neck that is starting to transform into a psychotic, talking tumor, her conduct continues to become more odd and deviant. The growth on Tommy disgusts and horrifies Tsukiko, who refers to Tommy as a monster. Tommy is offended and decides to leave, but Masashi stops her and uses a butcher knife to stab and kill her. The following morning, Tsukiko sees Kamiko tearing Tommy's body apart in the restroom. Tommy's head is then disposed of by Kamiko by placing it in the trash, and while preparing Tsukiko's school lunch, she accidentally spills numerous pieces of Tommy's flesh and hair into it. At school, Tommy Kawakami, a new student who remarkably resembles Tsukiko's deceased sister, joins her class. Tsukiko notices several little Tommy heads developing in her meal while she has lunch with Yoshi, who doesn't share her worries that her sister has once more risen from the dead. Tsukiko is shocked and repulsed, and she leaves while throwing the lunch bag in the garbage. Yoshi hears noises in the trash as she searches for Tsukiko and leans over to look. The tiny Tommy heads materialize out of nowhere, strangling Yoshi to death with their freakishly long tongues. Tommy's head emerges from the garbage can at home, where it persuades her father to murder his wife and feed her to her. Back at school, Tsukiko sees Yoshi, who has a neck tumor resembling the one Tommy had, and flees in terror. Yoshi is beheaded by the other members after they mistake her head for the tumor when she enters the judo club room in search of Tsukiko. Her headless body reanimates, and she begins pursuing the judo club members. When Tsukiko enters the room, she sees Toshio kill a Tommy with a knife. A new Tommy emerges from the blood and starts kissing Toshio. After killing Toshio, Tsukiko flees into a locker area where she runs into various different personalities of Tommy. She awakens in her bed as she is going to be cornered by the Timmies. When she inquires about Tommy, her parents let her know that she is an only child and never had a sister. Tsukiko exhales in relief, thinking she's only had a horrible dream, but Kimiko's head suddenly expands abnormally to the point where it looks to be upside down and Mashashi starts devouring hair, proving that she actually had a nasty dream. In order to protect their family from a giant Tommy head and Tommy centipedes, Sukiko's parents intend to sacrifice their daughter to the Tamis, and Sukiko's dream was a representation of her fear of the Tamis. It turns out that Japan is being overrun by seductively attractive humanoid regenerative creatures that respond to the name Tommy. But before Kimiko can stab her daughter, Tommy attacks, saying she does not want Sukiko to be a sacrifice. Running upstairs, Sukiko stumbles into Toshio and Yoshi, who tell her that they are ashamed of their friendship with her in her dream and that they have always found her unpleasant and disliked her in reality. Sukiko pushes them down the steps after being injured, and the centipedes attack them both. The sisters eventually come to terms and the Tommy centipedes start crawling over Tsukiko after she comes upon a large giant Tommy head in her living room. When the film concludes, after changing into another Tommy, Sukiko is seen leaving the residence. She observes other ladies she passes, many of whom are also Tamis, as she strolls around the streets of Japan. She approaches a man while grinning, and later we see him killing her inside an apartment. 
she is still able to display part of her previous personality as she lies on the floor and looks in a mirror. Tommy, who appears to Tsukiko in the mirror in a manner similar to that of Tsukiko's dream in which she was Tsukiko's sister, asks Tsukiko if she is happy. Tsukiko responds with a wicked chuckle before a different Tommy takes over her original personality. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.